on the job, 24 hours a day. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The ultimate Derek Jeter dream date. First you call a girl, tell her that you're preparing a perfect candlelight dinner for her, I throw in some R&B, I can't cook, so I'm gonna order some food, tell them to give me the works, and put it on my Discover card. Splash on a little cologne, throw on your apron, the Discover card cash back bonus, it's the icing on the cake. What else would she want to do but to watch highlights of us winning the World Series in 1996? It pays to discover. To apply, call 1-800-IT-PAYS-2. Accepted where you see the Novus sign. Lighter yet stronger. More power from less space. More space from less size. A drag coefficient among the lowest in the world. There's more than a pattern emerging here. It's the world's first use of cyber synthesis, where vehicles are designed, built, and tested in the virtual world so they'll perform better in the real world. The new Durango and the new Intrepid. New vision from the new Dodge. Get ready, because with these guys, anything goes, including murder. Let's like that. Sunday night at 10.30 on WGN. Jose Vizcaino takes a ball high, leading off the fifth for the Dodgers. Vizcaino, the pitcher's spot, and then the top of the Dodger order against Kerry Wood, who is really starting to deal. Our first sailboat of the summer out on Lake Michigan. First of many, we are sure. The pitch, he missed it by a foot, one and two. Good off-speed pitch, and that's one of the few straight changes that Kerry Wood has thrown. If he gets that one over, Along with his curveball and fastball, he's got 20 game win stuff. A swing in self defense. Vizcaino stays alive. Reds and Mets tied at four in the bottom of the ninth inning. Cincinnati has the winning run at first with one out. Pittsburgh and the Padres tied at five in the bottom of inning number seven at Pittsburgh. Giants trail at Milwaukee 3-1. John Jaha left the game with an injury for Milwaukee. And the Cardinals over the Phillies 6-2. That game at Bush Stadium in the bottom of the sixth inning. Another foul back from Vizcaino. It's 2-2. Two and two. You know, we talked about the Rookie of the Year candidates. Most of them seem to be first basemen. Canerco, Travis Lee, Todd Helton, <clears throat> as well as Brad Fulmer. But don't discount Kerry Wood now that he's here. Full count, three and two. Once folks around the country see his eye popping stuff, he is going to draw a lot of attention. And Vizcaino coaxes a walk here in the fifth. Right at 90 pitches, and that's. Well, we talked about getting to 100 pitches in the fifth inning most of the time, and that will, although he's not on a pitch count today, that will limit how many innings he throws. So here's Dreifert. He tries to bunt and fouls it back. We asked Phil Regan about the pitch count number, what it would be here in Kerry Woods' second Major League start. Uh, as far as a pitch count today, I would say that almost all of our pitchers, when we we get to 100 pitches, we start looking to maybe uh, get a fresh arm in there. And and uh, I, I think Kerry's always going to be uh, up into a high pitch count because he has a lot of strikeouts and and uh, throws a lot of pitches. But uh, we, we probably would get him 100 to 110 pitches. We probably would uh, look to get someone else in there. So he's at 92 now. He's thrown 55 strikes and he's got to get through this fifth inning in order to qualify for the win. Nothing in two to Dreifert. Vizcaino a lead at first. Cubs leading eight to nothing. Strike three call. A nasty hook on the outside edge. Six strikeouts now for Kerry Wood. And you take a look at an unhittable curveball. You just have to sit down on this one. And from the Southwest Airlines Plainview camera, we'll take a look at strike three. And there is the camera high atop Wrigley Field. Taking a look at some pretty good stuff today. So here's Young. 
fastball lined right back up the middle. So Young answers the challenge from Wood with a sharply hit ball right back up the middle. That's the first hit for the Dodgers since the third inning. Second hit of the day for Young. Let's pause for station identification. This is America's number one sports station, WGN, Chicago. With Steve Stone, I'm Chip Carey from Wrigley Field. 8 0 Cubs have the lead. Dodgers with runners first and second here in the fifth, one man out. Todd Hollinsworth, the batter. The Cubs' pen starts to get busy as the pitch misses low and away. Well, they're busy because Kerry Wood is in the mid 90s now in pitches, and Mark Pichotta loosening up. This will be number 95 for the young right hander. And he missed with it low and in. Well, not everybody can sit around and relax and enjoy the ball game. That young man is hard at work on a Saturday afternoon. Line toward left, but right at Henry. Two down. No advance by the base runners in. Here's Mike Piazza. For the first time in this ball game, Piazza has a legitimate RBI chance. But the Cubs have the luxury of the eight to nothing lead. Braves and Rockies about to get things underway at Coors Field. The game being delayed, preparing the field for play. They were snowed out again in the Mile High City. Piazza has singled and he has struck out. The 0 1 won't be made. Kind of waved at that curveball. That shows you that even the great hitters, if you've got a good enough curveball and keep it in a good spot, they're not going to hit it. So Piazza in a big 0 2 hole. Kerry Wood gunning for his seventh strikeout. The pitch. Got him looking outside corner. And Wood qualifies for the win. But still some work to be done. We go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Boy, that's a nasty hook right there. Cubs shutting out the Dodgers 8 to nothing. So remember, there's only one Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats. <laughs> ah, you have it. No, oh, no. You. Sure? Yeah. Sure. There's only one Kellogg's Rice Krispies Street Square. Try them in chocolate chip. Brooks Brothers Eyewear by Luxottica. What do you want people to see? I want you to see wisdom. Yeah, a lucky man. I want you to see that tradition doesn't have to be traditional. Let them see you in Brooks Brothers Eyewear by Luxottica. This is my life. I have five kids. Maggie, Katie, Molly, Aaron, and Ryan. I want to be a lawyer, but there aren't any law schools where I live. So twice a week, after I get the kids off to school, I go to law school in another state. Southwest has lots of flights, so I get back in time to tuck my kids into bed. Hey, for ingenuity. My kids take the bus to school. I take the plane. You are now free to move about the country. So these are really Tim McGraw's jeans? The genuine article. How'd you get them? You'd be surprised what some people do for a cold Bud Light on a hot day. 
Yeah, right. Bud Light is proud to sponsor Tim McGraw. WGN, 50 years at Chicago's very own. 8-0 our score. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Chip Carey along with Steve Stone from Wrigley Field. So far, so good for Carey Wood. Plenty of offense early, and he's helped himself with a bat and with a big, big strikeout game, too. As Jeff Blauser leads things off against Darren Dreifert, and it's one ball, no strikes. Well, so far, Darren Dreifert has been awfully tough, but fortunately, Hideo Nomo had all kinds of problems getting the ball over the plate. Yeah, shortest career outing for Hideo Nomo, who walked five men in the first inning. Well, the Cubs took advantage of it. They got a couple of base hits, and right now it's all Kerry Wood and the Cubs. Blauser right back to the mound. Good play by Dreifert, and he'll throw out Jeff with ease. So Blauser retired. He's one for two today. And Tyler Houston will be the batter. Tyler popped out to the catcher and bounced into a force out in the Cubs second. Hits that ball to the right side. Easy play for Young. He'll throw out Houston, and there's quickly two outs in the Cubs fifth. Friends, mark your calendars now. For tomorrow is your chance to receive a Mark Grace authentic starting lineup. Compliments of Ballpark Franks. The first 10,000 kids attending the Cubs Dodgers game tomorrow receive a Mark Grace authentic starting lineup. For tickets, stop by the Wrigley Field box office or call 312 831 Cubs. Jeremy Gonzalez against Ishmael Valdez in the series finale tomorrow here at Wrigley. I think that's going to be it for Kerry Wood. He's up around 100 pitches and got Jose Hernandez in the on deck circle and Mark Pichotto continues to throw. So with the big lead and Kerry Wood most impressive with seven strikeouts through five. I think that's probably going to be it for the young man. Bouncing ball to short. This Kaino gobbles it up and throws out his man, and that retires the Cubs here in the fifth. Service, and the Cubs go one, two, three. Kerry Wood, five innings, qualifies for the win. Now the Cubs' pen has to shut down the Dodgers. It's eight to nothing, Cubs. A lot of times when something goes wrong with your car, you know it right away. But some parts, like shock absorbers, tend to wear out gradually over time. So gradually that many drivers fail to realize just how worn their shocks have become. So rather than wait till it's painfully obvious that you need new shocks, stop by your nearest autos. Right now, when you buy three Gabriel Gas Rider shocks or struts, you get the fourth one free, only at AutoZone. hoping for this moment and now your dream has come true the delicious new chicken crisp sandwich at Burger King right now part of the 99 cent great taste menu seven items 99 cents every day and you're worth every penny of it if you ask us it just tastes better the 24 ounce bottle from Pepsi it's perfect for a lot of little thirsts or one great big thirst uh oh Hey, Shaq! Thanks a lot! Sorry. The 24-ounce six-pack, only from Pepsi. A little help, please? Buddy? Pepsi invites you to the House of Blues May 1st for an unforgettable evening with Natalie Cole. Copyright telecast is presented by the authority of the Chicago National League Ball Club, which has right of approval of the announcers and is intended solely for the private and non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Chicago National League Ball Club is strictly prohibited. Couple of changes for the Cubs after five. Jose Hernandez takes over for Tyler Houston down at third base. And the new pitcher for the Cubs, Mark Pichotta, he'll take over for Kerry Wood, who was spectacular in his home debut. And Pichotta on for the 10th time. As you can see by those numbers, he's been awfully tough. He inherits an 8 to nothing lead, and the numbers on Kerry Wood equally as impressive. Five innings, four hits, no runs, three walks, and seven strikeouts. 
So in two starts, he's fanned 14 men in just under 10 innings of work. Todd Zeal, the Dodger hitter, takes high, one ball, no strikes. Had, had, had Woods unofficially at 100 pitches, 61 for strikes. Now we showed you Phil Regan earlier talking about there would be a pitch count on him today. And they got him right around the century mark. And now, Pashota will try to protect the eight to nothing lead. A strike to the Dodger third baseman. Zeal trying to protect a 10 game hit streak. Has walked and has struck out. Grissom and Lansing with 12 game hit streaks. The one two. It's two and two now. Zeal, Mondesi, and Conerco in the Dodgers sixth inning. The series finale tomorrow Jeremy Gonzalez, Ishmael Valdez. Monday's an off day. Then the Padres come to town. And Zeal strikes out swinging. We'll take a look at some of the strikeout highlights of Kerry Wood. Good fastball. Throws it right by a couple of the Dodger hitters. And they kept on coming. Seven strikeouts through five innings. And he was equally effective with that curveball and that blazing fastball. Mondesi, one of Kerry's strikeout victims, is 0 for 2, 1 for his last 13. He's really fighting it and swinging at everything. Well, there's the key. When he's struggling, it's because pitch selection goes out the window. He just swings at anything up there, especially low breaking balls. That foul back to the screen. Speaking of the Padres, by the way, they're 13 and 3. Their best ever franchise. All well, you think about Conerco and Helton and Fulmer and Lee. A lot of good young first basemen coming up into the National League now. White Sox fell at Toronto today, nine to four, the final. As we approach the seventh inning stretch, today Ray Meyer, legendary coach of DePaul, will be our guest conductor. Tomorrow, Vin Scully. And now well, there's Steve and I will be upcoming conductors. And Arnie. That should be quite an interesting thing just in watching Ernie walk up the ramp to get to the booth. I'm not sure he's ever been up here. Well, yeah, we'll send somebody down there to find him. Two balls, two strikes. Are we still on for a duet? Oh, yeah, that'll be a good one. The Frog Brothers. That's an injustice to frogs everywhere. <laughs> There's Vin Scully. He'll be with us tomorrow. Boy, what a wonderful man. Vin Scully I'll never forget when I first started out in this business I was down in Atlanta doing a game with my dad scared to death and Vin Scully the Hall of Famer walked by tapped on the glass gave me a thumbs up said good luck and welcome to the club. What a great broadcaster he is. Man, that was unbelievable what a thrill. The 2 2 is outside three balls two strikes. Eight to nothing Cubs. Pashota with the 3 2 now. And Canerco hacks away and fouls it into the crowd by the Cubs dugout. Another happy fan with a souvenir today. Some fans in Skydome were treated to a couple souvenirs too. Frank Thomas hit a couple of home runs today. Maglio Ordonez hit another one. Jose Canseco hit one for Toronto. He's got seven home runs already. That was Mr. Canseco. Again, the 3-2. It's hit a mile high in the air. 
On comes Brant Brown. He's under. He's got it. And the Dodgers go one, two, three in the sixth. On to the bottom half. It's all Cubs here at Wrigley. Both these men have athletes for them, but only one used the soothing cure. Prescription strength Desidex. It calms the itching and cools the burning while it heals. Got athlete's foot? Get Desinex, the soothing cure. Are you or someone you care about diabetic? If so, and you have Medicare or private insurance, you may be able to receive your diabetic supplies at absolutely no cost to you. Premier Diabetic Supply offers a full assortment of diabetic supplies, including testing strips, lancets, insulin, syringes, and meters, all conveniently shipped to your home. Call our friendly operators toll-free for details at 1-800-938-1615. That's Premier Diabetic Services, 1-800-938-1615. My kids love chocolate milk. This isn't just ordinary chocolate milk. It's rich chocolate Ovaltine. It's got vitamins. Nestle Quick and Hershey Syrup don't. For my kids, it's not ordinary chocolate milk. It's rich chocolate Ovaltine. More Ovaltine, please! My feet are killing me eight hours a day. Nothing helps. Introducing Gold Bond Medicated Foot Powder. Three foot relievers in one. Only Gold Bond absorbs moisture, controls odor with baking soda, and stops foot itch. New Gold Bond Medicated Foot Powder. Finally something that really helps. What do you look for in grass seed? Quick results? We seeded it with Scott's seed last fall. As soon as I planted it, boom, it just came in. A really terrific lawn? And it feels like crushed velvet under your feet. It's wonderful. How about weeds? Bargain brands can contain thousands of weed seeds that can ruin your lawn forever. You can spend a dollar or two less for a bag of seed. But you don't want weeds in your grass seed. Scott's Premium Grass Seed, 99 and 99 one hundredths percent weed free for a beautiful lawn guaranteed. WGN, 50 years at Chicago's very own. On today's Discover Card Payback Playback, Mickey Morandini's two-run homer yesterday tied the game at two in the first inning with the Dodgers. It was Mickey's first homer since last June against Atlanta's Greg Maddox. That's our Discover Card Payback Playback. We go to the home half of the sixth. And Jose Hernandez, Brant Brown, Mickey Morandini will lead it off against Darren Dryford, who's done a great job in relief. He has shut down the Cubs since that disastrous eight-run first inning for Hideo Nomo. Well, you can tell why they believe that Darren Dryford is going to fit nicely into that fifth starting spot. Because as soon as he came in the game, that was just about it for the Cubs, but the damage had already been done. And then Kerry Wood and Mark Fashoda has made it hold up. And it's a good thing the Cubs scored early because Dreyford has retired the last 11 men he's faced. And he got Hernandez very easily here in the sixth inning. Now Brant Brown the batter. And he takes high and away. Brant walked, singled, drove into, scored two runs. All in that first inning as the Cubs sent 13 men to the plate. Let's look at a young Cub fan now that Kerry Wood is out. He decided to go to sleep. Easy play for Eric Young at second. Twelve in a row retired by Dreifer. And before Morandini bats will remind you Cubs fans be sure to pick up the first 1998 issue of Cubs Quarterly Magazine. The special yearbook edition features my grandfather Harry Carey on the cover and includes a tribute to late broadcasting great. It also contains articles and photos previewing the 1998 Cubs. Cubs Quarterly is available now at Wrigley Field but reserve your copy of this collectible in advance by calling 800 248 wins and remember accept no imitations ask for Cubs quarterly by name. Mickey Morandini the batter two hits and three tries today a run scored and an RBI. Ishmael Valdez and Jeremy Gonzalez in the rubber game of this three game set leadoff man comes your way tomorrow at one o'clock central time here from the friendly confines. Mickey pops it up down the left field line. Long run for Zeal. And he'll run out of room. I'd like to send along best wishes to Roly Grello. Looking on in Hinsdale. It's the grandfather of Kathy Kerr and a huge Cub fan. He's going to be ecstatic with the performance of Kerry Wood today. Jim Bruski loosening up in the bullpen. Swinging bunt. And Piazza pounces on it before it rolls back into fair territory. 
That would be a name of a pitcher I think my grandfather would have liked. Brewski? Brewski. No doubt about it. His kind of pitcher. You got to be on hand to watch your teammates finish up your first big league win, Mr. Wood, and he's back down there really enjoying the afternoon. Mark Grace has asked him how he got that base hit up the middle because it's been a while for Mark. Tell me again, you reach up over your head, you somehow hit that ball on the ground and take it back up the middle for an RBI. Not bad. Well, he did tomahawk that ball, but he hit it solidly and hit it cleanly. A lot of firsts for Mr. Wood today. First hit, first RBI, first run. In his first start at Wrigley Field. And perhaps the first win as well. He's qualified for it. But still a bit of work to be done. Morandini, hot shot, good play at first by Canerco. That ball fielded him, but he made the play. And the Cubs are retired in the sixth. Dreyford set down 13 straight, but the Cubs lead by eight. Chicago Cubs baseball on WGN is brought to you by Pepsi. Generation next. True, there are other ways to reduce your car insurance premiums instead of calling Geico. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Ann Klein Eyewear by Luxottica. What do you want people to see? I want you to see fearlessness. The unexpected. I want you to see you don't need words to make a statement. Let them see you in Ann Klein Eyewear by Luxottica. Payday. Payday in Las Vegas, baby. Sweet caramel, salty peanuts, it's payday. What do you look for in grass seed? Quick results? We seeded it with Scott's seed last fall. As soon as I planted it, boom, it just came in. A really terrific lawn? And it feels like crushed velvet under your feet. It's wonderful. How about weeds? Bargain brands can contain thousands of weed seeds that can ruin your lawn forever. You can spend a dollar or two less for a bag of seed. But you don't want weeds in your grass seed. Scott's Premium Grass Seed, 99 and 99 one hundredths percent weed free for a beautiful lawn guaranteed. On 7th Heaven. It's time for me to be on my own. A decision that will change this family forever. 7th Heaven. Tonight at 7 on WGN. Guerrero, Vizcaino, and a pinch hitter for the Dodgers in their half of the seventh inning. Cubs leading 8 to nothing. And on the verge of equaling this series at a game apiece. I think Wilton is very happy to see Kerry Wood no longer in the game. He played a little pepper with Jeff Blauser at shortstop. The 0 1. And it's 0 2. Tell you what, Stoney, the Cubs' middle relief has been outstanding. The entire bullpen has been very impressive. Of course, they're missing Bob Patterson on the disabled list. Hopefully, they'll be able to get him back because he's done a fine job for the Cubs over the last couple of years. Two strike pitch to Guerrero. Say cheese. He pulled a string, did Pachota. And Guerrero didn't like the call, but that's his third strikeout in an inning and a third so far. Uh, the outside corner getting just a little wider here. And that one was well off the corner, but we'll take it nonetheless. And this is not Rod Beck territory. Jose Vizcaino takes low. We're moments away from our guest conductor today, the legendary coach. Off DePaul University from 1942 to 1984, Ray Meyer will lead the seventh inning stretch today. And a strike for Vizcaino. One and one. Bouncing ball weakly toward first, but foul. Reggie Smith, a Dodger first base coach, fields it flawlessly. And Vizcaino down one ball, two strikes. 
Hi, Coach. I'm terrific. How are you? You ready to sing with us here in a minute? <laughs> he said, Coach said, he may be ready, but he'll never be good. I don't know about that. I'm looking forward to hearing your warble here this afternoon. I think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, no, no. Man of your experience? Uh, I was always told to open my mouth, but not to utter a sound. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's the waving that's the key. Oh, sure. Let me hear you and then just keep waving. Just wait. That's all you get. That's all you have to do. How's your wave? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you can practice up there if you want. There you go. Two and two to Jose Vizcaino. That just missed. And now it's full three and two. Here comes the payoff. And he lost it. Three in a row. So there's the first Peixoto walk. Vizcaino's walked three times today. And we're going to see a pinch hitter. Thomas Howard coming on to pinch hit. And Darren Dreifer did an outstanding job in relief of Hideo Nomo. He just slammed the door on the Cubs. And Castro comes on to pinch run. So the day is done for Jose Vizcaino as well as Darren Dreifert. And boy you are right about Dreifert. He was unhittable virtually for the Cubs. He set down the last 13 men he faced. Gave up just two hits. In five innings and a third of work. Howard hitting 074. But. A couple of home runs and three driven in. That home run cut there and fouled it back. So it's not a soft 074. Well, he's had two hits, and they've both been home runs, but he's 0 for 5 as a pinch hitter this year. So Howard for Dreyford here. Cubs still leading 8 0. We're in the top of the seventh inning. Castro, a lead from first, bouncing ball towards short. Blouser to Morandini, to Grace. Double play. And that retires the side here in the seventh. All right, coach, let's get them going here. It's eight to nothing. The Cubs have the lead. And here's Ray Meyer to conduct our seventh inning stretch. 42 years, please welcome the coach, Ray Meyer, in singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game in honor of Harry. Brought to you by your friends at Budweiser. I hope he is because I need a lot of help. Oh, please come and uh, sing as loud as you can. Drown me out. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Take me out. Here's your chance to see Wrigley Field like you've never seen it before. Take an official Wrigley Field tour. Visit the Cubs clubhouse, the dugout, the playing field, and more. It's a Cubs fan's dream come true. Call 312-831-CUBS today for ticket information and tour dates. Cubs fans, come early and save big with the Cubs early bird discount. 
During the first hour, the gates are open. Enjoy 25% off all food and non-alcoholic beverages. For hot dogs, pizza, Pepsi, and more, catch the Cubs early bird discount. A participating advertiser in Cubs baseball is CarQuest, offering top quality parts for the vehicles America's driving. Call 1-800-492-PART for the CarQuest near you. Changes for the Dodgers as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Juan Castro stays in the game at shortstop. Tom Prince, the catcher. Jim Bruski becomes the third Dodger pitcher. Bruski on for the ninth time, and he's been pretty tough. But not as tough as Darren Dryford, who was unhittable through five and a third innings, gave up two hits, and he struck out three, and that was it. Sammy Sosa, the batter, looking for his first hit on the day. The Cubs did all their damage in the first, scoring eight times against Today Onomo. And the count to Sammy, one ball. One strike. Well, Coach Ray Meyer in the booth with us here this afternoon. A great job during the seventh inning stretch. Oh, I got through it. I don't know if I'd ever get through. Sosa sends a high drive into shallow right field where Matt Luke holds forth. Young, though, in front of him makes the catch. And that retires Sammy. What was harder, the actual singing or waiting to get it over with? <laughs> I think waiting to get it over with. Uh, I was enjoying the game. I wasn't thinking about singing. That was a great first inning. I'd love that start. Well, every time you come here, Coach, the Cubs win, so you have to come up a few more times. Right, we had three runs on a bunt single. <laughs> that was a great inning. You can't beat that. You know, we can range. We can put a cot back here if it'll help, you know, exorcise the... Hey, ghosts I, from past years. Chip, if I could help him, I, I think I'd sleep back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, what a great run you had with DePaul. And the game of basketball sure has changed yeah, since you started your career. And now that you've been away from it for a while, what are your impressions of basketball now? Oh, it's a much better game than when I coached. The uh, players are so much bigger, stronger, much better, more athletic than we were ever. And when you see these player players, even in high school today, they're so far advanced. What about, this is, it speaks more to the pro game, so many more youngsters are contemplating skipping college and going directly from high school basketball into professional basketball. As a man who is in higher education for so long, and in many ways, that's got to just break your heart as Zeal makes a great play to break Mark Grace's heart at first. That was a great play. Yes, uh, I'd rather see him go through college. That, as two or three years at college before they left because I don't think they were emotionally uh, ready to go into the pro league at that uh, coming out of high school or an 18 year old youngster he's thrown in he's getting a couple of million dollars he never had two nickels in his pocket most of the time and the, uh, he's not ready for that type of thing if the pros take him at that age I, I'd love them to see him hold some money back until they got their college degrees who is your favorite player to coach player to oh, of course the big guy George Mike and uh, I, I I became a coach when he be, uh, started to play for me he made me a coach what a career he had too in the, in the professional leagues he was absolutely amazing George Mike with the Minneapolis Lakers the one one to Henry Rodriguez swung on belted deep toward left on the run is Guerrero can't make the play it ricochets off the wall and Henry's got a stand up double with two outs here in the seventh and let's check out who's cleaning up in baseball it's brought to you by Hoover here are baseball's best sluggers and Henry Rodriguez right there in some pretty good company Mark McGuire Chipper Jones Ellis Burks and Jeremy Burnett's and Henry Rodriguez with his fourth double rifles it off the wall and Trinidad Hubbard who's taken over in center field has some problems as he skates across. But he gets it back in. Yeah, Henry's off to a terrific start. Really hitting the ball well. Well, he finally gives the Cubs coach what they've really needed, which is a power left-handed counterpart in left field to Sammy Sosa. Even today, coming here, you saw so many left-handers in the lineup. What a change it was from other years. Well, other years, the Cubs fell victim to a lot of right handed breaking ballers like the man who's going tomorrow Ismael Valdez always had a good run against the Cubs because they've been predominantly right hand hitters this year there's a lot of balance in this lineup and the Cubs are going to reflect it offensively. Wowser swings and he misses. 
Now, if you're coaching Michael Jordan, would you I, do anything differently? Than yeah, give Texas him the ball <laughs> and say, what do you want me to do? <laughs> That's one thing I always re regret about my coaching career. I never coached Michael Jordan. And that, that ball pops away from Prince. Henry's going to reach third. What makes him such a great player in your opinion? Well, he understands the game so well. He's a very intelligent basketball player. He's a competitor. And uh, he has great athleticism and, tell and an unusual amount of talent. You put it all together, you have the superstar. Now, you had Terry Cummings, did you? ever in your wildest dreams believe that he would spend as long as he has in the NBA. No I think it's 11 12 years. I, I always remember some of those kids who did tell me that I uh, say kids they're men. They say boy coach I don't think I can go another year or two. My legs are giving out. Five years later they're still going. <laughs> those paychecks make your legs feel pretty good oh, these days yeah. don't they. Blouser soft flare toward right. But it's caught by the Dodgers second baseman Eric Young and that retires the Cubs in the seventh no runs one hit one man left coach our sincere gratitude and thanks for stopping by and don't be a stranger. <laughs> Thank you Jim. Ray Meyer nice from Paul. great to see you Cubs leading eight nothing we go to the eighth. Rains from El Nino guarantee a bumper crop of grass and weeds this year. Fight back with the all-new Grass Gator. Forget bump and feed spool trimmers. The Grass Gator trimmer head installs on your current trimmer in seconds and requires no tools. Changing blades with other brands requires nuts and bolts. This yellow one takes a hammer and nail. Forget it. With Grass Gator, simply lift the retainer cap, dump the pins, change blades, and replace the pins in seconds. Grass Gator outperforms every brand. If it doesn't have an alligator on the package, you're working too hard. Available at fine home centers worldwide. There ain't nobody here but us chickens. There ain't nobody here at all. So calm yourself and stop that fuss. There ain't nobody here but us. It's easy pickings. There ain't nobody here but us chickens. If you ask us, it just tastes better. Both these men have athlete's foot, but only one used the soothing cure. Prescription Strength Desidex. It calms the itching and cools the burning while it heals. Got athlete's foot? Get Desinex, the soothing cure. Well, my Discover Card statement reads like a wish list. What? Toys. I like toys. I love pinball machines. This will improve my golf game. <laughs> it is unbelievable to me how fortunate I've been in my life, and uh, I can't ask for anything more. Discover Card cash back bonus, no competition. It pays to discover. To apply, call 1 800 It Pays To. Accepted where you see the nervous sign. WGN, 50 years as Chicago's very own. 8 0 in the eighth, and Eric Young gets buzzed again, this time by Mark Pashota. Young two for three today. Matt Mieske takes over for Sammy Sosa in right field for the Cubs. Young with a couple of hits today. But the big play for the Cubs came defensively in that first inning. Young trying to gauge the Kerry Wood pickoff move. Did not do it successfully. Two balls and a strike to Young. Chop toward short. Blouser charges, handles the in between hop, and throws him out by a step. Good play. So Young's retired. Again, it's eight to nothing. Here's today's Ameritech play that makes the difference. Well, if you're going to give up a leadoff base hit, the best thing to do is to then pick him off first. And that's exactly what Kerry Wood did his first major league pickoff. And that's your Ameritech playbook. And again, a lot of major league firsts being disposed of by Mr. Wood this afternoon. Here's Matt Luke the right fielder he waves and misses. Luke hitting in Hollinsworth spot in the Dodger order Todd went 0 for 3 today. Nothing in two. 
to Luke. Our senior producer, director of Cubs baseball, is Arnie Harris. Today's game produced by John Walgren. Our associate producer, Mark Brady. And the coordinating producer of Cubs baseball is Kim Fields. We appreciate all your help in today's ball game. Back at it tomorrow, series finale. And Jeremy Gonzalez, Ishmael Valdez, the leadoff man, comes your way at 1 o'clock Central Time here from Wrigley. Two balls, two strikes. Well, the Mets helped out the Cubs today, defeating Cincinnati 5 to 4. Grounder to short. Blouser in, up, and across. Two down. Mel Rojas beat Stan Belinda in that game. And John Franco picked up another save for New York. Now if Philadelphia will cooperate and they've crept a little closer to St. Louis with that game in the bottom of the eighth and St. Louis leading six to four. Same score there. They have Lewis Abreu and Relaford do up against the Cardinals at Bush Stadium. Here's Tom Prince. Batting in Mike Piazza's spot. Mike might be in the whirlpool by now. He took a beating early in this game. A lot of those no-mo fork balls wound up in the dirt and bouncing off Mike Piazza's anatomy. Low and away. Braves are in Colorado and the Rockies pitching staff is a mess. Pedro Estacio has given up six runs in the first two innings and the Braves are still batting in the, in the third. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike, a high fly to right. Miski will handle. Big crowd, 34,652, including 7,200 walk-up patrons. They've watched the Cubs play a dandy today. Eight nothing after seven and a half. I can't get my kids to eat right. All they want is junk food. My kids love rich chocolate Ovaltine, and it's got vitamins Nestle Quick and Hershey's Syrup don't. When my kids want chocolate milk, it's rich chocolate Ovaltine. More Ovaltine, please! My feet are killing me eight hours a day. Nothing helps. Introducing Gold Bond Medicated Foot Powder. Three foot relievers in one. Only Gold Bond absorbs moisture, controls odor with baking soda, and stops footage. New Gold Bond Medicated Foot Powder. Finally something that really helps. Unfortunately, most drivers are hit in the same place every time. And it's usually when the car insurance bill arrives. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You may never need your car insurance company early in the morning or late at night. But we offer 24-hour service anyway. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Another breakthrough from the one-hour labs of LensCrafters. New Invisible's anti-reflective lenses from LensCrafters reduce glare, so you can see better while driving at night. New Invisible's, only at LensCrafters. Made in about an hour. WGN, 50 years at Chicago's very own. Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom. Fly for only $39 with Southwest Airlines fun fares. You are now free to move about the country. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, friends, and entertain your clients and guests in luxury seating at the greatest ballpark in all of baseball. Rent a Cubs mezzanine suite at beautiful Wrigley Field. The suites can accommodate from 15 to 55 people, and they include parking. Plenty of game dates are still available, so call 773-404-4200 and reserve your suite today. 
Antonio Osuna on for the seventh time this year for Los Angeles. Osuna is projected to be the right handed closer. Scott Radinsky, the left handed closer. And Osuna with a 4.15 ERA. He's only thrown a total of four and a third innings so far. And he's given up two earned runs on the homer. And he's a hard throwing right hander. And Manny Alexander greets him here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Manny hitting 286, a homer, three runs batted in. Osuna had a 2.19 ERA last year for the Dodgers and 48 appearances. But he wasn't called on to save as many as one game. One and one. Looks like Terry Adams will come on to finish it up. And he's loosening in the pin after a fine job by Mark Bashota. Osuna just 24 years of age. And strike three or strike two call, I should say, to Alexander. One and two. Osuna from Sinaloa, Mexico. Signed by the Dodgers as a free agent back in 1991. Alexander stays alive. Pitched in Mexico City in 1992. Won 16 games, lost seven there. Then with the Dodgers, they've used him exclusively out of the bullpen, both at the major league and minor league level. One and two. It's approaching 90 night time for the Dodgers as well. They're down eight to nothing. Well, that young fan came out to see Kerry Wood. He came out to see exactly what he saw today. Five shutout innings with seven strikeouts and then decided that he'd be best served with a nap. One and two. It's two and two. And Pashota did an excellent job in his three innings. Walked one, fan three, and did not yield a hit. Padres got two in the top of the tenth. At Pittsburgh, they lead 7 5 now. The Pirates come into the plate, and Alexander swings at a bad ball, and Osuna records the strikeout. Kerry Wood now, just a couple of outs away from picking up his first big win. And that's the man who helped him get it, Mark Pashota, sitting to his right, talking it over. Pashota saying, How'd you give up four hits? Low and away to Scott Service. He's 0 for 3 today. Buzz saw him inside. It's 2 and 0. Marlins lead at Arizona 5 to nothing. Diamondbacks coming to bat in the bottom of the third. Phillies have picked up a run in the ninth. They now trail the Cardinals six to five. Man on first, nobody out. Desi Relaford facing Jeff Brantley there. Check swing didn't mean to, and service will be 0 for 4. So two up, two down here in the eighth. And Jose Hernandez will be the batter. Well, we've raved about the Cub bullpen today, but this Dodger bullpen has been equally tough. Nomo was charged with all eight runs, seven of them earned. And so starting in the first inning with two outs, the Dodgers bullpen has been untouchable for the Cubs. So here's Jose. Swing and a miss. It's nothing in one. Cubs eight. Dodgers nothing. Los Angeles with but four hits on the afternoon. A spectacular home debut for Kerry Wood. 0 oh 2 to Jose. Kinds of days your manager really likes. You get a nice, comfortable eight spot and let your pitchers take over from there. Don't have to do much managing at all today. Strike three call right down central. And Osuna works a one, two, three, 
Bottom of the eighth. On we go to the ninth. Zeal will lead things off for the Dodgers as they trail it by eight. Chicago Cubs baseball on WGN is brought to you by Southwest Airlines offering low fares and frequent flights. Southwest Airlines, the official airline of the Chicago Cubs. Hi, I'm Mark Drysdale, and this is the Garden Claw. Using spades, forks, or cultivators can be back-breaking. The Garden Claw has a patented design that virtually eliminates bending and lifting. Turn the handles and the steel tines corkscrew down into all soils, even clay. It's perfect for mixing in peat and fertilizer, and it's ideal for working around plants and shrubs. The Garden Claw is backed by a 100% guarantee. Look for this display. Available at Home Depot and participating Ace True Value HWI and Service Star. There's a lot more to transportation than just getting from point A to point B. Before you ride this, all this, all this, someone's got to make this. Seaports, airports, subways, someone has to build them all from the ground up. Before you ride this, someone's got to make this and this and this. But when it comes to getting from A to B, there is one company that makes everything from A to Z. We're Siemens. We can do that. You think he's going to show? He's not here, and he's not going to be here. <laughs> Honey, say something. This is Diet. Diet Pepsi. So light, so crisp, so refreshing. Now, inside packs of Diet Pepsi, get a free MCI prepaid calling card. A participating advertiser for Chicago Cubs baseball on WGN is the Discover Card. Discover Card, the card that pays you back with a cash back bonus award. We go to the top of the ninth. Terry Adams will try to close it out for Kerry Wooden that comes here. Zeal Hubbard and Conerco are scheduled for the Dodgers. And the first pitch, a bullet right through there, nothing in one. Adams throwing the ball very well on for the ninth time. 186 ERA, 10 strikeouts in nine and two thirds innings. All the way to the backstop that time. Even more impressive for Kerry, not only the 10 strikeouts, but he has yet to walk a man. So he's been awfully tough as you look at some pretty impressive numbers. And he says his slider just keeps getting better. Seal 0 for 2 today. Takes outside two balls and a strike. Well, have the butterfly started for Kerry Wood or is the lead too great? He still has three outs for his teammates to get before he gets that first big league win. Pretty comfortable time right now. Got a lot more comfortable after that first inning. And Cardinals have beaten Philly today six to five. Milwaukee has beaten the Giants three to one. Padres just beat Pittsburgh 7-5 and the Mets over Cincinnati 5-4. Broken bat roller to short. Easy play there from Jeff Bowser. And Zeal retired for out number one in the ninth. The bat went nearly as far as the ball did. Hasn't been the best day for Todd Zeal. He's had a tough time defensively at third and he hasn't had the ball out of the infield. And his 10 game hit streak is a thing of the past. Watch the bat shatter as he bids sayonara to that hitting streak. So here's Hubbard hitting 304 on the year with a homer three runs battered in. Well, Trinidad spent a lot of time fighting his way through the minor leagues, finally getting his opportunity with Colorado. Now he finds himself with the Dodgers, and he's a very likable young man. Swung on, belted deep toward left, and the shutout is history. Well, we like him a lot less now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Trinidad Hubbard just smokes that one. And a crowd demanding that that defective baseball be returned to the field of play, and there it is. We'll take another look at it as Terry Adams 
hangs a slider and Trinidad Hubbard goes down and gets it and there's not much doubt about how far this one's going to go only the back fence stops it it was a rocket so it's eight to one Cubs here's Paul Canerco one for three he takes low and away. One in, one out in the Dodger ninth. Breaking ball, that's ripped hard and scatters the bullpen. Hasn't been a safe place to be today in that bullpen. Yeah, the ball boy down there got hammered earlier. He got a line drive off his back earlier. But none the worse for wear. He's a gamer. The 1 1. Bob foul. One ball, two strikes now. They're underway in Oakland over in the junior circuit. Kansas City and the Athletics. Scoreless after three and a half. Toronto beat the White Sox 9 to 4 today. Big day for Frank Thomas. He had a couple of home runs. Jose Canseco hit one for the Jays. Yankees pound Detroit 8 3. And there goes strikes out. And now Kerry Woods one out of way. The other American League final Cleveland beats Boston 7 to 4. So Guerrero the final Dodger hope and what's left of this huge crowd today at Wrigley Field. Stands to see Adams finish him off. Well, this is the first major league win for Kerry Wood, but there's going to be many more for this young man. The 1 0 popped out of play. Yeah, that big, tall, rangy Texas gunslinger came in with the 95 mile an hour heat today and said, Here it is, guys. And the Dodgers. Did not get much done against him. Wood pitched five innings, four hits, struck out seven. It's that gentleman's first game and Kerry Wood's first win. Two balls and a strike. Let's pause a moment for station identification. This is America's number one sports station. W. He paints the outside corner two and two. Well, I guess he's got the lineup card. That's right. That's a, a souvenir of his first major league win, and the Wood era has officially commenced here at Wrigley Field. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. They'll throw him out at first, and the Cubs dump the Dodgers 8-1, to one, the first Major League victory for 20-year-old right-hander Kerry Wood. And he showed he's got the real stuff out there with his great five-inning performance for the Cubs today. 8-1, to one, your final score. A big day for the Wood family. A big day for the Cubs. They even the series. 8-1, to one, your final score. So remember, there's only one Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> eh, you have it. No, no, you. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs>